Chemical equilibrium experiment is aimed to understand behavior of equilibrium reaction. To study the effect of concentration on shifting the equilibrium position and to study the effect of temperature on shifting the equilibrium position. The reason on this type of reaction is from the observation on some reactions that can be reversible. For example, when A reacts with B to get product C and D, after some time, it is found that the ratio on concentration of products and reactants are constant, which is so-called equilibrium constant. This equilibrium is dynamic equilibrium. This means that the rate of forward reaction is equal to rate of reverse reaction. With the equilibrium reaction, Le Chatelier find the principle in that if the system at equilibrium is disturbed, the system will shift its equilibrium to the direction to reduce the disturbance. He can explain how these effects affect the equilibrium. In the experiment today, students will understand two effects, concentration and temperature on shifting the equilibrium as follow to this reaction. If the concentration of the reactant increase, the system try to reduce the concentration by shift the direction to the right. So, product's concentration increases. On the other hand, if the concentration of product increase, the reaction will shift to the left. Today, we are interested on cobalt complex as a model of chemical reaction. Cobalt takes a echo or cobalt ion solvated with six water molecules reacts with chloride ion which is from hydrochloric acid. The ligand chloride will replace the water molecule to get four chloride ion solvated with cobalt. How do we know on this equilibrium? Fortunately, cobalt hexaequo is pink with the structure of octahedral. After replacement with chloride, the structure changed to tetrahedral, which is blue solution. Hence, if hydrochloric is added, the blue color will be formed. On the other hand, when water is added, pink color will be back. There are three sections in this experiment. However, Today, we use many types of cobalt solutions, so please look more carefully before doing the experiment. Section 1. Observe the crystal of cobalt chloride hexahydrate and cobalt nitrate hexahydrate. After that, pour the cobalt chloride on the plastic sheet and use stirring rod. Separate the crystal into three parts. Do the same for cobalt nitrate hexahydrate. In the first column, add water, one drop each. The second column, add ethanol and acetone is on the third column. Record the color of the solution. Section 2 is aimed to see the color change by shifting the equilibrium position when the concentration got involved. Start from pink solution of cobalt ion. After adding hydrochloric acid, chloride ion will replace the water molecule to get blue color. So, pink and blue color will be mixed and purple color is obtained. Finally, when the chloride ion replaces all water molecules, blue color is appear. However, when water is added up, the blue color also change to pink. On section 2A, 2.5 ml of cobalt ion in water is dropped in the aluminum flask. 20 drops of hydrochloric is added. Record the solution color. Then add another 20 drops and record the color. 
the hydrochloric acid is added till solution turn blue. Then take the blue solution and add water for 2 ml each till pink color appears. Do the same with cobalt in ethanol. Look more carefully the volume of hydrochloric acid used. This is because the replacement move faster. Section 3. Effect of the temperature on shifting the equilibrium position and determination whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. Hydrochloric is added into the cobalt solution till purple color appears. Pour or drop the solution in three test tubes. Press the first test tube into the hot water and the second test tube replace in cooling bath or ice bath for one to two minutes and observe the color change. Then answer the question where the reaction is exothermic or endothermic reaction. For example, if solution in hot water turns blue, it can be concluded that the heat is absorbed. Therefore, this reaction is endothermic reaction. All solutions are heavy metal solutions. Please dispose them in a waste container in the hood. <laughs> <laughs>